in my actual container. Okay, and the reason for that is so that I don't get any egg shrapnel or egg shells in with the egg that I'm beating. So I have my two eggs in there, and I hate to have raw egg on my hands, so I'm washing my hands anyway. And I have my little garbage bowl over here. It saves me a little bit of time from walking back and forth to the trash can. So that's an idea. If you'd like to use it, you can. I'm going to pour in my salt that I already measured. Then I'm going to do just a little bit of pepper. Depends on how much pepper you like. Or if you don't want any pepper, that's okay. I wouldn't recommend leaving the salt out, though. Two tablespoons of water. And then I'm taking my fork, holding onto my measuring cup, and I'm beating my egg. And you want to beat it together really well, and I'm having a hard time doing that because the last two omelets I made had some white in them, so I obviously need to practice on beating my egg. Jake, could you tell if you had any egg white in your omelet? It was pretty brown. <laughs> it was kind of hard to tell. Yellow from the white. So that's the, I forgot to do it. So it's probably good. Alright, I'm going to stop, take a look. These stoves, this kitchen plants like this, and you can tell. So you're going to make sure that you swirl that pan or use that pastry brush. Okay. And my butter is just about melted, just about ready to go. Yeah. Can you overbeat it? No. You can't. That's a good question, Lily. So remember, you can't overbeat it. Alright, so it's completely melted now, and it's swirled in the pan, so it's covering my entire pan. It's not going to stick anywhere. And I'm going to put just a little bit of egg in there and see if it starts to cook immediately. <coughs> hmm, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Not ready yet. Okay. I'm not going to turn it up because 7 is medium high and that's how high you're supposed to make your omelet. So I'm just going to wait for a minute and I'm going to continue to beat my egg. And we're going to try again. I'd say it's really close. If you started now, it wouldn't be a big deal. It would be okay. There we go. All right. So I'm pouring it all in. And then I immediately grab my rubber scraper and I start my shaking and stirring. The omelet would be thinner, but almost, this is a specific omelet pan. And make sure you're scraping the side. Um, no, that's more temperature because you'd match your burner. So you just would use a bigger burner. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I have a little bit of runny egg. So I'm going to tilt my pan and try to get that runny egg to go off somewhere into that pan. And this is where my, Jake, mine started to jump a little bit. About like the bubbles that you talked about. That's where I turned it down. Is it thick? And so what I'm doing is constantly trying to get all of that egg. If there's anything out of this, there's some stubborn stuff on this side here. But I stopped my spinning and shaking a lot sooner than they did in that culinary arts video. And I think that's probably a good idea for you guys since it's your first online. But this is not running off anymore. I don't see any egg running off. So it, that means it's time for my filling. So I take my cheese, and because I'm teaching you how to just fold it in half, you put your cheese only on half of the omelet. Okay? And then you are going to get this rubber scraper under the egg as much as you can and fold over. And I have a tear. Everybody see my tear? Okay, but it's not too late because if my teacher doesn't see that tear, She's never going to know that there's really one there. So I'm going to change my grip on my pan, like give me some money, which the one kid had a lot of trouble with in that video. Keep your plate up like this, and I'm going to give you styrofoam plates. It'll be easier. 
and you are going to flip it. Okay? Turn off my burner. Put my pan on a cool burner and make sure that my pan handle is not hanging off the edge of the stove. Okay? So I hid my pear. But what problem do you see? Why don't you not here on the day you need to go? You'll go the next day because the person who is supposed to go to the next day will go again. Can I stop this?